Good morning, you guys. So I'm just finishing up my skincare and makeup routine, pampering myself first thing in the morning today. I can sense it's gonna be a busy day from here on out, so I'm getting it in now. That's what last week's video was all about, pampering yourself. I did a lot of self-care tips and tricks and favorite products and tools, so be sure to check that one out. And this week, I thought it would be fun to share with you guys what I have been eating in a day since I am on the cusp of heading into second trimester. I'm a little over 13 weeks pregnant in my third plant-based pregnancy, and I'm finally feeling like food is normalizing for me again, so it's a good time to share what I'm eating, starting with breakfast. Let's go. And now on to breakfast part two. So we are making some cinnamon spice baked oats. These are definitely a fall favorite. Once they start to bake, they will make your whole house smell like cinnamon spice and everything nice. So we need two ripe speckled bananas mashed, two cups of rolled oats, two cups of plant milk, and then two teaspoons of baking powder and two teaspoons of cinnamon a pinch of salt, and two tablespoons of maple syrup. Give it a good mix and stir so everything is well combined. And then I like to thinly slice one final banana on top. Pop it in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 27 minutes, making sure it doesn't get too browned or burnt on top. If you serve it right away, it'll kind of fall apart and it's almost like an apple crisp. And if you let it sit a little bit longer or even put it in the fridge overnight, it's more of a bar consistency. finished a super good workout. Did a 30 minute intervals and arms on my Peloton and then I followed it with another 20 minute strength training or upper body session. So tomorrow I'll probably do just legs, no cardio. And Honeycrisp apples are so good right now. Between all of the good seasonal fall produce and the smell of cinnamon in the house. Max grabbed some little mini pumpkins from Home Depot yesterday and Liv and I went and got her first pedicure together. She was begging me to come with. So obviously probably not something we'll make a habit of because I know that nail salons like aren't the healthiest, but it was such a momentous, cute occasion. After that, we stopped at Target. We literally go to Target like once a year. So this was our yearly stop at Target and we got some new seasonal pillows. Thinking I'm gonna rotate out all of the bright bulbs that we had and kind of bring in some good fall Thanksgiving-y kind of colors. Honestly, I'm just ready to get through Halloween so it can be like full on Christmas mode around here. <laughs> Usually what I always wanna do is pick everybody's costume and have it be like a cohesive, like family unit. The kids are so opinionated this year and that's great. So I'm like, you know what? It's cute and it's sweet and fun to just let them pick. So Max wanted to be Harry Potter, which we've only watched like 
the first couple because then they get kind of creepy. So we stopped watching Harry Potter, but Liv wants to be Elsa from Frozen, which another movie that we kind of were like, oh, I know they're gonna be obsessed if we start them on it. Played it once and they're obsessed, but it's super cute and fun. And then Dusty and I, as cliche as it probably is, we're Barbie and Ken. If I could live in a world like that, I probably would. <laughs> The colors, it was just like happy-go-lucky, everything I'm all about. Now we're about to make some lunch after this. I'm gonna probably want tofu scramble, so that's another aversion I was having that I've been loving lately. I've been craving tofu scramble. We've had it like so many days this week. Um, sometimes we put veggies in it, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we just have like some avocado toast with it or like hummus toast. We'll have to see what we have in the fridge. So not really eating raw till four. In fact, not very much raw at all other than like the morning green smoothie. Eating apples on repeat. Like I could eat so many Honeycrisp apples. Later, I'll probably have like a midday shake or something and then we'll have dinner, which we have leftovers tonight. Dusty is really good at hiding lots of vegetables in like our soups and stews, even our pastas. So because I don't have to cook dinner on camera, I'm thinking maybe I'll share like a Halloween type of treat with you guys. It'd be fun to make some type of healthy, sweet treat. So I really quick just made myself a post-workout Sun Warrior protein shake. Usually what I do is a half scoop of the vanilla Warrior blend with a half scoop of the unflavored Warrior blend because I don't like it to be too sweet. And then I'll put a banana in there and I added some ice and some water, just like a really light, milky milkshake consistency. I've been loving it lately. It feels so refreshing. So we've been huge fans of Sun Warrior for so long. You guys know we love them because they're organic, minimally processed. They don't use heat to process their protein powders. So it keeps everything from being denatured. Um, making it more bioavailable to your body. They have so many different types for whatever your goals are. I wanted to show you guys their latest release because I think a lot of you might be excited about it. If you are a matcha drinker, so this is the Collagen Building Protein Peptides. Um, the flavor is Coconut Matcha Latte. So it has 40 milligrams of caffeine. If you like matcha, if you want something that's a little bit more tame, that's a fun one to try out. Plus it has, of course, the Collagen Building and the protein, everything you need all in one place. I am on a mission now. I have to go get avocado and hummus because we have neither of the two and nothing goes better with scramble than toast. So I'm gonna go get those things and hopefully I'm gonna find some brown rice krispies to make our snacks. I'm gonna be doing tofu scramble. So three simple ingredients, some spinach, tomato, and tofu. Because our little ones are eating so much lately and growing up we're a full-fledged family, I typically am making two bricks of tofu. I like to squeeze the majority of the liquid out. I don't press the tofu. I don't let it sit for hours like some people do because you need a little bit of liquid to cook it. So I crumple this up in a frying pan with salt, pepper, turmeric, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, and saute this up. It literally takes about five minutes, and that's why we love this so much. It's packed full of protein, iron, all the goodness. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need for the super delicious and fairly nutritious Halloween treats. We're gonna need three cups of brown rice crisps. These are as clean as I could find. They're organic minimal ingredients. Then we're gonna need a half cup of maple syrup, half cup of peanut butter, or you can use almond butter, and a bag of your favorite dark chocolate chips. We love Hue because they're organic. They only contain four simple ingredients. Free of all the yucky stuff, just cacao, organic date, organic cocoa butter, and organic vanilla bean. So basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna put our brown rice crispies into a large mixing bowl, then we're gonna mix together our peanut butter and our maple syrup separately. Then we're gonna melt these down and then we're gonna mix everything together, put them into a tray lined with parchment, pop them in the freezer so the chocolate can firm up. And then after that, you are free to take them out and slice and enjoy. In the evening, Dusty and Max went to t-ball practice and he is just loving it. He is so good. His coaches have nothing but great things to say 
Liv and I got some alone time at home, some girl time, snuggling and cuddling. The house just feels so cozy and there's so many good smells right now. For dinner, Dusty made some herb roasted baked potatoes and our absolute favorite fail-proof recipe that the kids also love. This is our one pot creamy vodka-less penne pasta, but we used a different type of noodle. It's a brown rice pasta. This one is in the Eat Move Rest meal planner and recipe app and I highly highly recommend it hope you guys enjoyed this what I eat in a day if you want more pregnancy related videos let me know in the comments or anything at all I love to hear your suggestions and let me know what recipes you'd like us to make next there are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better eat move and rest we're Dusty Aaron Max Olivia and Bo and we're the Stanzix we aspire to live a plant-centric faith-forward healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 